argument though for the axe on that Augustan for that, you know, that of course it's snare through the spell immunity, but K1 also about to finish up a blood going. I mean he's hitting critical mass soon. Maybe that's also why he's probably like, I'm gonna buy an agonim soon perhaps. That, that is the thing, right? You, in terms of these two heroes, who's gonna get the money quicker yeah. for their own axe? It's going to be the Naga Siren if the game continues on for longer. That's mid lane, K1. All three lanes are getting sieged. Now what do you do if you're EG? You've gotta do something. Nightball, he's looking for a raw target, turns towards Chris. Lotus is up. Must be careful as he holds back on it for now. Lotus is in with the bashes. They bring in Chris down pretty quickly. That'll be him down the wongs. Arbeck jumps in. He's going to be caught out by the spike characters, but the center just does, does get yielded into the air. This is at least going to be the Mega Creeps here. Can they really slow down Beast Coast for this 30 seconds? I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can. 30 seconds seems like a big window. This Edict is about to come back up. It's got the 25 talent too. The first tier 4 falls. The second shortly to come. It's gone. The H is exposed. As Beast Coast, they're looking to close it up. EG, they'll go for one final attempt to holding back Beast Coast. But they're just focusing the ancient. EG, there's nothing GG. to be done. GG is called. Beast Coast will be moving on. And this is the end of the road for Evil Geniuses this year. Oh my. South America has taken out EG. Back to back series. 2 0. 2 0. Oh my god. Beast Coast, the team that got EG into TI, now they've taken it away. Oh my god. I mean, they've, they've got to be feeling fantastic. From the first game, they're completely...